Hi, I'm Kim. Happy Valentine's Day. Today we're here to break some hearts. <gasps> So today we're going to talk about the most important meal of the day, breakfast. No breakfast is complete without a bowl of cereal, right? No! 49% of Americans start their day off with breakfast cereal, and it's probably because it's the most heavily marketed item next to car advertisements. Unfortunately, the cereal aisle is just an extension of the candy aisle. Whether you're having a bowl of cornflakes without the sugar, or a bowl of sugar without the cornflakes, below the neck, your metabolism cannot tell the difference. I'm on a diet, so I choose Special K with strawberries, so I get my fruit in too. A little bit more. There's even a Fitbit on it, so it's gotta be healthy. And because I wanna get more fruit in, I add some strawberry milk. It smells just like a strawberry field. Uh, sugar, freeze-dried strawberries, brown sugar syrup, nine grams of sugar here, 25 grams of sugar here, because milk should have corn syrup and sugar added. Kellogg's Smart Start. The front looks pretty promising. So the third ingredient is sugar. We've also got some honey, corn syrup, brown syrup, BHT for freshness, and some yellow dye. This ought to be good. Kashi Golin, this has to be good. Brown rice syrup, dried cane syrup, and honey. Three different sugars. Probably would be the first ingredient if it wasn't split up. Well, I'm healthy, so I eat organic granola for breakfast. I even portion out my servings. Two thirds cup, one serving. Well, I'm an adult, so it's not like I'm eating the kids' cereal, right? Actually, it turns out the second ingredient in both is sugar. They both have nine grams of sugar, they both have 110 calories, and it's the same serving size. Actually, Honey Nut Cheerios has more fat than Fruity Pebbles, if anything. Raisin Bran, out of all the cereals that we actually showed here today, has the most sugar. It has almost twice the amount of grams of sugar as our Fruity Pebbles and our Honey Nut Cheerios. It also has the most sodium out of any cereal on the shelf. So there's that. I didn't know M&M's made a cereal. There you go. <laughs> That's basically what you're eating. Moral of the story is, Cereal, you know, you can search the shelves for something that's halfway decent, but it's just not a great way to start your day. It's a lot of sugar and it's a lot of grains. If you need any help finding some other options, give us a call.